In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your desktop from Clutterville to Relaxistan, two places that should probably exist in the real world. I'm your host, Erin from F The Office, where we talk biz money travel for freelancers, and I am not a very organized person when it comes to my desktop. If I'm working on something or I take a quick screenshot, I'm leaving it on my desktop, and then chances are I have a hard time finding what it is that I'm looking for. And if you're like this too, and you're not in the habit of organizing your files and folders. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial for how to take your desktop and turn it into something functional. Now, something like this is really great for whatever industry you're in because it's really easy to organize yourself into different boxes. These can be things like your clients that you're working on or any courses that you're developing or even anything on the back end for your business that you have to access quickly. And our favorite way to make some graphic like this that's totally customizable to your needs is through Canva. If you don't already have a Canva account or you're not familiar with this piece of technology, it's totally free. You're just going to go to canva.com and sign up for a free account when you're prompted. To make your own wallpaper, you'll see at the top there are a couple of different suggested designs. One of them is desktop wallpaper. Our favorite thing about Canva is they have a handful of free templates for you to use. So you can peruse any different colors, pictures, items. Maybe you want your background to be um, simple, more minimal. Maybe you want some cute little design. Whatever it is, choose the template that's right for you. And by simply clicking on this template, you then have total control over what it is that you actually want to see. So I'm going to quickly show you how to customize your own desktop wallpaper. So it's similar to this little sushi guy that I have on mine. First, let's add some boxes. Now you can add as many or as few boxes as you want, depending on your needs. I'm gonna split mine for this tutorial into clients and business. All right, so I've got my box and I've resized it. I wanna have two boxes, so I'm gonna simply select that, make sure that there's a pattern around the box to indicate that it's been selected and hit copy. And let's just drag this back over here. All right, so I've got my two boxes that I wanna use. Now let's change the text. I'm going to go ahead and keep this font. I think it's pretty great, but if you want to change a font, all you need to do is come up here to fonts and select the one that you want. Uh, first, I'm going to change the size. I'd like this to be smaller, and I want the font to be in black. All right, let's drag this over here. Now, you may have noticed that the font has disappeared. Don't panic. It's actually just behind the box, and you can simply click on that box again and come up here to arrange, and finally move to back. That basically sends the layer backwards so that once again you can see the text. In fact, it's not too dissimilar from Photoshop. So let's go ahead and relabel this clients and we'll copy this text box, we'll move it over here and name this business. This is just to show you what this could potentially look like for you. So once you've redesigned your wallpaper and you're happy with it, you're feeling the good flamingo vibes and you're ready to download your piece, simply click download. Finally, I will show you how to upload this onto your desktop. I like to drag this onto the desktop itself. Now, PCs and Macs function a little differently, and I am on a Mac, uh, so let me show you how to do this on an Apple computer. You're gonna click your system preferences and come up here to desktop. I'm going to hit this plus sign so I can quickly and easily find my tropical vibes with a capital S, love it. So if I'm happy with the way that that looks, then great. And then you can organize as needed. So you can go ahead and drag your files, drag any um, miscellaneous documents, any screenshots that you use regularly, go ahead and drag those into the boxes. Now my favorite thing about a system like this is that it helps you keep everything in order. Personally, I find an organized and functional desktop helps me feel a lot more productive during my workday. And now I don't have to flip back and forth between uh, different documents in my finder. I can actually just access everything that I need to for my workday and for my business right here on the desktop. So that was a really simple tip for the day and I will drop a link to Canva below in the description. If you've liked this video, go ahead and press the like. Let me know if you have a functional desktop. I'd love to know what it looks like. So if you can, share a screenshot. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, this is Erin with FD Office, where we talk biz money travel for freelancers, and I'll see you on the next video.